welcome to week two, lesson two. Today's lesson is going to be about dance and different dance movements that we're going to put together into a sequence. To help me with today's lesson, I've got Mr Chapman, who will be doing the easier movements for you to follow, and also Myla, who will be working hard with us today. So first of all, we're going to be doing a warm-up, but it's really important that you do a warm-up to make sure that you are ready and ready to go for the exercises that we're going to be doing today. The first one we're going to do is an easy one. It is just simply jogging on the spot. We're then going to move on to do some star jumps for 15 seconds, then some quick feet for 15 seconds, then we're going to do some um, touch toes as well as jogging on the spot. But I'll explain that all to you as we go. So we're going to first start off with jogging on the spot for 15 seconds. Are we ready? Two, one, go. Good, and stop there. The next one is going to be our star jumps in three, two, one, go. Okay, build up the rhythm with this. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. The next one is going to be quick feet. And by doing this, we're gonna start off by jogging, and then we're gonna slowly build the momentum up, but I will tell you when we have that change in tempo. Are we ready? Three, two, one. And 10 seconds of quick step, go. As quick as you can. And stop there. Good, just take a bit of a break. Excellent. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, so get ready with to jog in three, two, one. Light jogging, and then into quick sprint now. Quick as you can. Two, one, stop there. Shake out your legs. <clears throat> okay, the next one we're going to do is some jogging. And then I'm going to tell you whether to touch your right toe or your left toe. Okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, touch your right. Touch your left. Right. Left. Left again. Okay, and stop there. Well done. So that is the first part of the warm up that we're going to do today. Hopefully you already feel quite warm, um, but just make sure that you're shaking off any lactic acid that may have built up during that time. So we're now going to move on to an athlete specific warm up. Today we're going to look at Pele from football. Um, so we're going to just going to talk you through now all of the different movements. So P for Pele, the beginning letter, is going to be a plank. So we'll hold a plank for um, 30 seconds. And then we're going to go on to do some extensions of the arms, then some lunges, and then extension of the legs. Okay? So first one then, we're going to hold a plank. So you simply need to go down. You can easily do it if you want to um, on your forearms with your back straight. Toes quite close together. If not, to make it a lot easier, you can simply put your arms quite wide apart and then hold that position. If you're really struggling with that, you can also just simply put your knees down, but we want you to hold that plank for 30 seconds. Okay? Are you ready to go? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay, with this, make sure you're contracting your abs. Okay, to make sure that you're working the correct muscles. Keep your body as still as possible. You 
might go a little shake, that's fine. Okay, stop there. Well, well done. done. The next one is going to be the extensions of your arms. So from here, you're simply going to go forward, extend your arms up and back, step forward, extend your arms up and back. You can obviously alternate the leg that you go on to for this. So are you ready? Off you go. Okay, 10 of these. Get your arms nice and high. Last couple now. Excellent. So that's E for extension of arms. The next one is going to be for lunges. So for your lunges, make sure that you are stepping out in front of you with your lower knee as near to the ground as possible. You can simply alternate your legs. So just step back. Take things quite slowly. You shouldn't be rushing this. You simply need to really feel that stretch. Okay? Are we ready? We'll do 10 of these as well. Off we go. Okay, as far down as you can go. Stretching out the lower body. You should feel a stretch by your quadriceps. Okay, and stop there. And the last one today for our warm up is going to be the extension of the legs. Again, you simply need to just step forward and then touch your toes, alternating your arms and your legs. Okay, we're going to do 10 of those. Are we ready? Go. Two. Okay, nice big stretch here. Get your legs up as high as you can. two. Excellent. Okay, so now we've done the warm-up, we're now going to go on to do the main activity. The main activity is a build-up of movements um, that we've taken from lots of different sports that we're going to include into our dance. We are going to do like a telephone number dance where we're going to have um, different dance moves associated with different numbers. So this dance routine is going to be completely unique to yourself. So we're going to run through now, naught all the way to number nine, and the different movements that go with each one. The first one we're going to do is for zero, and that is going to be the slide. So from here, you simply put your feet together, you then slide over to the right hand side, and stop, and then move again over to this hand side, and stop. To make it a bit easier, you don't have to use your arms at all. You simply can just step to the side and then step to the other side. So if you have zero in your phone number, then you make sure that you do the slide as your movement. So we do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You only do it twice. For number one, we're going to get our basketballs out, our invisible basketballs out. And we're going to dribble forward and then jog back, and we're going to do that twice. So from here, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's for number one. Uh, so for number two, we're simply going to get a basketball. We're going to go round the body three times, and then on the fourth beat, we're going to pass to the left. Then we're going to go round the body three times and then we're going to pass over to the right hand side. So let's put that all together then. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you just do that left and your right hand side. The next one is number three. And for this, we're going to get our shot foots up, put them in the crook of our neck, and we're simply going to do a turn with that. So from here, we're going to turn to the left hand side. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Shot foot back and your left hand. Five, six, 
seven, eight. That's all you need to do for that one. So have a quick practice of that, because that's quite difficult at some point to coordinate. So from here, your shot foot's in your neck. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, throw. One, two, three, throw. So quite simple, but just make sure that you've got your feet in the right way, as well as um, putting your shot put in the left and the right side of your neck. Number four is going to be boxing punches. So we're going to hold a sideward stance, um, our hands out, and we're simply going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to turn our bodies and then go five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've now given you five different moves from naught to four. At the end of this, we simply want you to put all of these together in a unique form depending on your phone number. We're going to go through just naught to four, first of all, put it into a sequence so you can work with it and, and see if you can build it up into that sort of sequence. So, we're going to go first of all from the slide, so if you just want to practice with us then, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basketball's out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basketball's out around the body, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, excellent, the next one's get our shot puts ready, into our neck and we're going to do a 360 degree turn, are we ready, one, two, three, shot, one, two, three, shot, excellent, so you should already think about the sequences and putting those together is quite simple and quite easy, just make sure that you've got it written down. So, moving on then. Number five. So, we're going to go on to some ski jumps. So, get your poles ready, and we're going to get ready to do some skiing. We're going to do that for eight times from the right and the left. So, practice with us now. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make it a bit easier for you, you don't have to use your arms at all. You can just simply jump from side to side, that's absolutely fine. Um, but some of you might want to think about that you're actually being a skier um, and you're adding that into your dance. So um, the next one is number six. Um, it's one of my favourite moves, is a grapevine. Um, so make sure you get your feet sorted with this one. We're going to go over to the left hand side first and we're going to go one, two, three, flick. One, two, three, flick. So it's basically putting your feet in front, behind, to the side, and flick. That's a great bind, and we're going to do that two times. If you okay. want to try and make that one easier, you just go round the back twice, okay, and then round the back, back to the other side. Okay, so the kick out. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's number six. Number seven, we're going to go over to the world of athletics now and we're going to look at the triple jump. So from there, you just simply stand, hop, step, jump, and then jog your way back again. And we're going to do that through twice. So start with your hop, step, jump, jogging back. So with me then, five, six, seven, eight, hop, step, jump. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. So that's number seven. Number eight is going to be crossovers and then a full 360 degree turn on the spot. So from here, we're going to do that seven jumps and then the twist is going to be number eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, you really don't have to twist all the way around if you don't want to. You can do a half turn, um, or you can just simply jog around in a circle. That's absolutely fine. The next one is going to be a number nine. It's our last one out of the sequence. We are going to do a squat to shooting. So you've got your netball. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. So exactly like you're going to shoot your netball, you're on the spot, you just caught the ball, you're going to squat down and then go to shoot, flick your wrist like you're about to shoot. Ready to do that twice through? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. So that is now put together. Um, you've got all of your dance moves that you need. The next thing I want you to do is simply write down your phone number. 07, etc., whatever your number is, and you should have 11 numbers. It doesn't matter if some of your numbers are repeated, it just means that your sequence will include the same move twice, which is absolutely fine. So what we're gonna do now is just put together five to nine. Again, just so you can see all of those put together, just to practise the moves one more time. So if you could do that with me now. So we're gonna start with the ski jumps. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grapevine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're going to our triple jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next is our crossovers with a twist. One, three, four, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go into our squats. Got our net ball ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've now linked all of those together. So what I want you to do, like I said, is write down your numbers. You can then start putting down your sequence. Okay, so we've been through all 10 0 to 9 different moves. Now what we want you to do is think about challenging yourself if you can and we're going to differentiate some of these moves. So, if you're dribbling, think about your levels. You could do it really low if you want to, or you can also do it quite high if you want to as well. So think about challenging yourself. Um, so we'll just practice that through now. So choose which levels that you want to do it at. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another one that you might want to change is the shot put one. Instead of going from left to right, you might just want to go all the way forward to do your dance move. So do your 360 degree turn going forward and then going backwards. So you could do it like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So again, challenge yourselves. It doesn't matter which way that you do it. Make sure you're thinking about the different direction you can go in. Next one is boxing punches. You might want to go a bit quicker than I did. I just did like so. You could just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it completely doesn't matter how you do it, but we're just thinking about increasing that tempo for that move. The next one you could differentiate is the ski jumps. So make sure you get really down low when you're doing the ski jumps. You can also make sure that you're using your arms as well to go around in a circular motion. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so hopefully you'll find some of those useful to use. So now what we're going to do is think about our start and our end move. And we've thought about doing... So every good dance has a good pose at the beginning. We're going to do the mobot. Okay, so that just shows that we are ready to do the dance. And then our end pose is going to be Usain Bolt pose. Then you know that you've finished doing the dance. Okay? Right, we're now going to go through our dance routine. So we're going to start off with the slide for us. You can copy us if you want to, but this is just um, signifying what a sequence should look like with all of the moves put in. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shot foot out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next one is our bunk boxing punches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, I did. I challenged myself on that one, and then I ski jumped. Into a great five, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go into our triple jump. Then we're going to do our crossovers. Five, six, seven, eight. And then our last one is our squat. And then we end with our Yuto Bar pose. Okay, so overall that is our sequence. We've put it all together quite slowly for you, but now you just simply need to come up with your own routine with all of it put in place. Okay, now we're gonna go through our own sequence now, um, using all of the, the start moves, the end moves, as well as some challenges, uh, the challenging moves put in between them. So we're gonna start off then, are you ready? to our double knee lift for our challenging moves. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then to our jazz hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Into our Usain Bolt end pose. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us for that main activity and your sequence. We're now going to move on to our plenary and you're going to have a one minute challenge. So we're now going to go on to a plank and we're going to hold the plank for one minute to simplify it to make it a bit easier. Again, you can put your knees on the ground if you want to or you have a wider stance with your arms. Are we ready? One minute. Okay, so pick which room you're going to do, either elbows in or hands up wide. Okay. Go. Remember like the warm up, try and keep your back straight, contract your abs, you might feel a little bit of a shake by the end. If you do need to take a break, you can. Okay, halfway. Try and hold your body still, keep going. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so for the last 30 minutes of this lesson, you're going to have your challenge to complete your own sequence. Remember to write down your phone number, all the different movements that we did today. Add in a challenge if you can, and remember to do the um, Mobot as well as the Usain Bolt pose at the end. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.